Come with me behind the scenes at the Lakers Suns game. Let's go. I'm Jovan Buha, Lakers beat writer for The Athletic. The Lakers played in Phoenix on Sunday in their final road game outside of California for nearly a month. I got into Phoenix on Saturday night. It's become one of my favorite road cities over the last few years. Uh, went out and grabbed a burger and then some beers. Didn't have too much fun though because it was a 1.30 p.m. local tip. So had to get to the arena around 11-ish. It's a terrible name, but I do enjoy the Footprint Center. It's one of the easier arenas to navigate and they recently redid the media room. So everything is pretty nice now. But I know what you guys came here for. You want to go to the court, so let me take you. I always get a rush of adrenaline when I walk through the tunnel. Uh, it is a pretty cool moment. At the same time, I feel kind of bad because fans are waiting on players and then I pop out. After watching Anthony Davis warm up and confirming that he regained his voice, uh, it was time for Darvin Ham's pregame press conference and then some of the best waffles I've ever had. Certainly the best media waffles I've ever had. And then it was time to head to my seat for the game. Uh, this is one of my favorite views in the league. From a proximity perspective, it's not one of the closest seats, but it is the broadcast angle, so it's like watching a game at home, but in person, if that makes sense. Essentially, I like sideline views and not baseline views. There tend to be blind spots, and it gets harder to determine spacing and what exactly is happening at some points. As for the game itself, the Lakers did not show up in the first quarter. They trailed 45-28. It looked like they thought the game started at 7.30, not 1.30, and that reduced their margin of error the rest of the way. They did make several runs. They got within two uh, late in the third quarter, but the Suns role players, particularly Grayson Allen and Royce O'Neal, made big shot after big shot. The Suns killed them on the offensive glass. They had 14 offensive rebounds, outscored them 22-10 to 10 in second chance points. And while the Lakers limited Kevin Durant and Devin Booker, it wasn't enough as Phoenix won 123-113. to 113. LA dropped to 31 and 28. They momentarily were 10th in the West before Golden State lost to Denver Sunday night. We spoke with Darvin Ham, Austin Reeves, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and D'Lo post game. Then I went back and wrote and did some YouTube videos. And Monday it was back to LA. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll talk to you soon.